Okay, welcome back. So as I mentioned at the end of the last video on iterating through an array with four loops and four reaches, this is going to be a very quick exercise. There's only one here, and all you need to do is evaluate this code. So we have two arrays, and we're doing a for each. So take a moment, try and walk through this mentally, remember what we talked about, how a for each works, how it's different than um, a for loop, what array iteration is, all of that, and take a moment to think about what this prints out, and then we'll go over it. All right, so pause the video. Don't cheat. Okay, great. So let's take a moment first to appreciate how impressive that animation was. Here, let me show it to you again. And I can even change colors. And there's a few more animations. Seems like you're not really that impressed. So uh, let's just talk about the solution, I guess. So two arrays, numbers, which is an array of numbers going from one to 10, and colors are a good old colors array, red, orange, yellow, and green, four strings. Then we're running numbers dot for each. And I tried to confuse you a little bit, where I threw a few wrenches in here where we have the variable name color which is not a good name for this for each because we're not dealing with colors. We're running for each on the numbers array. So we're running for each on this array and it takes this whole function right there and it applies it to every single item in this array. So in this case, 10 different numbers. And again, we're calling that temporary variable name the placeholder color but it's going to be referring to numbers in our case. But it doesn't actually matter as far as JavaScript's concerned. This is just like any other function argument that we declare or that we write. It can be named whatever we want as long as it follows the basic rules of JavaScript where it's a valid name for a variable. And then I threw a little modulo in here. So if color mod three is equal to zero. So what that means is that the number needs to be evenly divisible by three. If that's the case, then we print out color, which is actually a number. So loop through all of them, this will be run, but only on a few of them will this console.log be executed. So the numbers that are divisible by three are three, six, and nine. So we would expect to see three, six, and nine. And just to walk you through that, first few numbers, first time through, this code is called with one passed in as color. So color is equal to one. If color mod three is zero, that's false, so we're done. Then for each does the same thing with two, and it passes two into this function as color. So color mod three, that's also not equal to zero, so we don't console.log it. And then next, this is the last one I'll do, three is passed in to this function, so color is three, 3 mod 3 is 0, so we finally print out color. So let's copy this up and evaluate the whole thing, and we get 3, 6, and 9. Awesome, so that's all we need to do here. Quick exercise, I made it a little bit tricky. Uh, what would be a good practice for you, another good exercise, is to go through and just rewrite this code that will only print out 3, 6, and 9, only the numbers that are divisible by 3, so not just always three, six, and nine, but if we had 50 items in this array, it should always print out the ones divisible by three, but use a for loop rather than for each. So rewrite or translate this code into a for loop. Great, I'll see you in the next video where we return to our to-do list and we implement array iteration.